A spectacular sight across the country, this total solar eclipse. This is the view in Texas, in one of the places where people saw the sun completely blocked by the moon. Here at home, the Sky 4 drone flew over a watch party at the University of North Florida, where people gazed at a partial eclipse. We've also been getting lots of photos on Snapjacks, and we'll show you some of them in a moment. Here's what the eclipse looked like here in Jacksonville. One of our photojournalists captured it on the South Bank outside the Channel 4 studios. We were not in the path of totality, but still, this was a spectacle. Our coverage begins with News for Jacks reporter Ann Maxwell, who spoke with some student sky gazers at UNF. In the shadow of the moon, crowds flocked to UNF to witness the solar eclipse. I see a moon! A wondrous sight. And it kind of looks like a Pac-Man opening his mouth. People packed the campus to get free eclipse classes because safety first. My teacher said I got to wear the new glasses like my parent does so I can see the sun. So, so when I look at the sun, I can see the moon. A moon that for a brief window seemed like it really might be made out of cheese. It looks like a cheese ball with a big bite out of it. For some, the full appreciation of an eclipse is an acquired taste. What do you think is it about an eclipse that generates such interest, such excitement, all these people out here? Because it doesn't happen very often. Yeah, it's, you know, for for me, it's, it's just a couple of times in my life. A rare sight taken in by people across the country and here in Jacksonville. Right now at about five minutes past the peak totality, we're going to see here 64%. It's a little shadier than it was earlier in the day. It's a little cooler than it was earlier in the day. People out here still looking up at the sun with their glasses on. I'm going to put mine on right now. And the sun looks like just a little crescent. Soon afterward, I caught up with Eclipse Watcher Andy Pakulski. It was so beautiful, so inspiring. I want to go to space now. <laughs> I love that. Um, okay, describe what we're looking at now. It looks like the Cheshire Cat from Alice in Wonderland. It's but it's very orange. A crowd filled with excitement for a free celestial show, making for an exceptional Monday. It's been so nice. The sun's out and it's just wonderful to be outside with friends. I don't think I've ever been laying down while doing an interview. That's yeah. a first, huh? Yeah, really tough assignment I had today. I uh, had a great time. It looked like a lot of fun. There were so many people out there. There really were. And you know what was so great about it? It's that it was such a beautiful day outside and people were out there for like two hours and they packed picnics and so you could kind of just watch the eclipse at your leisure. You know, you're not like, gotta run outside. It's, you know, 3.05. You could kind of just watch it as it slowly uh, the moon slowly moved in front of the sun, which was neat. And talking to you, what else is cool? You've gotten to hang out with students before watching an eclipse, but they were younger. Tell us about that real quick. Yes, I was early in my career when I was reporting in my hometown of Augusta, Georgia. I went back to my elementary school and uh, saw some of my old teachers and old principal, and it was just, it was really a neat experience. So mm -hmm. eclipses are fun. And students of any age. <laughs> any age. I mean, I had a great time. Older folks out there having a great time. I mean, how can you not appreciate an eclipse? That's awesome, and thanks.